Act number 15. Close those doors, ladies. Thank you. Performing for Open Division from Charlottesville, Virginia, under the direction of Joan Harrison, Skyline Harmony Chorus. Good morning, MJ. It's contest morning, and our seven o'clock rehearsal starts in five minutes. Come on, get going. Rise and shine. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Seven o'clock is the middle of the night for me. Rise and shine, it's all I can do to stand up. Hey, I've been up for two hours already. I've been swimming in the pool with Joan, I've meditated, and I've eaten a healthy breakfast. My head is popping with excitement, and you should be popping too. If we were meant to be popping this early, we'd all sleep in toasters. <laughs> oh, MJ. Hey. hey. Why does Joan always schedule us for the earliest morning rehearsal? Oh, I love that about Joan. But I'm going to go check on the others. Don't you go back to sleep now. Uh-oh, here she comes. We're in for it now. Good morning, sunshine. Isn't this a lovely morning, MJ? I hate mornings. Uh. I need coffee. Where's my pillow? Oh, and we were so lucky to get this 7 a.m. rehearsal time. I'm so excited. Are you crazy? You gotta be kidding me. I love contest morning. The earlier, the better. So I'm all good with this, but I just don't think that you are. So how do you like contest? How do we like the contest so far? Step right up and get a not so cheerful, cheerful. <laughs> oh, how I hate to get up in the morning. Oh, how I'd love to remain in bed. And the hardest part of all is to hear the director call. You gotta get up, you gotta get up, you gotta get up this morning. Oh, how I hate to get up in the morning. contest day, it's so hard to remember everything I was going to tell the chorus. Well, uh oh, don't forget about posture. posture. Oh, but don't worry. Your heckler will take care of that reminder. By heckler, I'm assuming you mean my good friend and fellow director, Claire. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, every year, we look forward to Claire waiting until you're totally focused and then shouting, Stand up, Joan! <laughs> yeah, uh, she thinks she's a hoot. She truly does. But I don't have time for that right now. We need to think about the ballad. And so this song keeps running through my head. I keep remembering my 25th college reunion, my college sweetheart, and that last kiss. I will never forget. Yeah. 
Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. What, what, what? Talk about growing old. You know, I had a birthday last month. I was a year older and a year wider. I mean wiser. <laughs> wider, wiser. So I decided I was going to sign up for one of those senior aerobics classes. So I stretched, I twisted, I jumped up and down, I sweated for an hour. And? By the time I got my leotard on, the class was over. <laughs> Well, now I understand why you dragged me out of bed at 6.30 this morning. Well, we got 20-minute workout just getting on our dead gone all-in ones. You got that right, but I said, but don't we look so good? <laughs> Maybe Joan was right to get us up this early. Oh, I would not go that far, no. <laughs> but I tell you what, I am getting excited, Linda. You know, our chorus is a lot like that t-shirt that Joan wears, the one that says small but mighty. That's us, and we're a tight-knit group, too. Nothing can separate us. You got that right again, Shelby. We're tighter than my all-in-one. <laughs> Sure is a star wherever we are. 